as you can see, we're at the airport. This video, we're leaving the van at home, which it's broken anyways. It is broken, but we have a fix for our batteries. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, stay tuned to that. Van life is coming back very soon. But for now, we're gonna hop on the plane and go to? Michigan. Michigan, which that's where Bob's from. That's right. Okay, so there are two reasons why we're flying to Michigan. The first reason is we're taking our kids. If you've been here for a while, you'll know that back in the fall of 2022, we drove the van all the way to Michigan and we, we went and visited Bob's grandparents. Yes. And Bob's whole side of the family, his mom, everyone. And so that was super fun. We're going back, but this time we're bringing our kids. Mm -hmm. And it's a reunion. And it's reunion. Yeah. So we're going to a reunion. That'll be our first reason why we're going to Michigan. So the second reason is... There is an RV that we are trying to go and see. It's maybe not in the best of shape. Yeah, it's totally tore up. I don't even think we could drive it home. We, we want to try and see it. We just take want to a look check at it out. It. We would love to get something and like gut it. Yes. And, and build out something. So anyways, we're leaving the van in Arizona. We're hopping on a flight to Michigan. So we'll see you when we get there. Let's go. Does anybody remember Blake? Remember last fall? Yep. You were on our channel. Did you like being on it? Yeah. She wants to show us the goats again. Let's go see them. There are the goats right there. One of those goats is pregnant. <gasps> the pink collar. Uh-huh. Is pregnant. And then the one with no collar, the other white goat with no collar, is a boy. It's like the rear of this little pack right here. And then over there, there's the goat with no horns. He he is crazy and his name is Yoda and he used to be a baby and then now he's grown up and adorable. And yes. <laughs> Natalie. I'm not the grill master. You're not? Are you no, sure? Don't, don't Who's the grill master? Bob. <laughs> He's not even cooking. And Jen. <laughs> I'm just trying. You're doing good. You just fake it till you make it. <laughs> it's gonna be edible though. It's fine. It's gonna be great. I'm tired. Good morning. It is morning. I'm not awake yet. I need more coffee. I Ooh. had one cup, but it certainly wasn't enough. Tell them why we didn't pick up the camera yesterday. Because I was exhausted <laughs> from getting up at three o'clock in the morning, going to the airport and sitting there for ever having a plane ride that was interesting. And then, yeah, we had an amazing barbecue at my sister's and got to see about half my family. And then we came back to the hotel and I pretty much crashed and until now. <laughs> so yesterday was a crazy day. <laughs> good morning. I have some coffee. It's going to be a good day. We're in Michigan. Yesterday was an eventful day. You know, we spent the entire day traveling. And uh, I have a funny story about our travel day. We were in the airplane and Bob was sitting behind me. All of a sudden, we've just landed. The plane just, has just landed. And all of a sudden, I could hear my voice. And I'm like, what is, wait. What is going on? Why do I hear my voice? And unbeknownst to me, 
um, the lady sitting next to Bob had seen, I think she saw that he had a camera or something and asked questions and he shared we had a channel and then she decided to just turn it on <laughs> so that all of us could hear it. And that was an experience to hear yourself and it went on for quite a while. So yeah, that was funny. Shout out to that lady if you're watching. Thanks for subscribing and um, yeah, we appreciate you. But that was yesterday and then like uh, Bob was saying earlier, we just enjoyed family time, didn't pick up the camera much, but that leads us into today. It's going to be a good day. We're going to take you along with us. Not for sure what the day, what's going to unfold today and what we'll show you, but stay tuned. You'll find out as we find out. So we found this beautiful abandoned RV. It's an abandoned RV. We do know the owners though. We do know them, but we want to take a look at it, see if this is something maybe we could remodel, but it's been here for a few minutes. So we need to kind of dig into this and take a look at it. Yeah, so it looks like it's a Greyhawk Class C. Um, I don't know the year. Do you know the year yet? Uh, 2004. Okay, so it's a 2004. It's been sitting here in Michigan through the winters, through everything for a long time. So let's take a look at it. Not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> oh, wait. Did you get the right key? Maybe it's the down one. Okay. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh no. Maybe it'll go in the door. <gasps> <laughs> so there's ducks. Apparently there's ducks living under it. <laughs> I mean, we could just power wash that off, right? Does, oh, do you have the key? Oh, so it has a generator. Cool. I did find that the key worked here in this section. So this is where their battery is for, I'm assuming, starting the generator. Oh. Oh. Okay. So electrical cord, this, this is where their shore power connection's at. Hold on. What? I think she got this open, but we don't know what's in there, so we kind of want to... Okay, here we go. Ah! <laughs> you scared the heck out of me. <laughs> Let's get inside. Yeah. Come on in. Okay. Well, let's see. Oh, ooh. it actually doesn't look too bad in here. It's a little dusty. Here, let's check what's in here. Ah, here, let me step out of the way so you can see. It is. <laughs> okay, so back there you've got a full bathroom. So this is a full slide out. So you can see kind of here's the frame of the slide out, which has your refrigerator, your dinette, and all of that slides out. Wow. Wow. It is a lot nicer in here than I was expecting. Yes. Is this a project we want to take on? Okay, so the inside does look good, but we need to take a look under the hood. Yeah. Yeah. And the outside definitely needs some work. We know that there's a window that needs a new seal. Yeah. Hmm. But there's no water damage. See, that's the other oh, thing there's I was no looking water for. Damage? I was looking for the water damage right up here. Yeah. Around this window that's broken. Okay. But it looks good. No, no damage, no nothing. And look, it I comes with a DVD player. Amazing. They've been, they've been plugged in for how long? All in all, 
Not too bad a shape, I have to say. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Well, we know that they didn't use it very much. Yeah. You know, like there was some It would reason. be interesting to turn it on and see how many miles are on it. Yeah, it would be fun to turn it on, but I'm almost positive the battery's dead. Oh yeah, you can try it though. So what I will do, there's a big giant spider web. I'm gonna try starting this. Dead. Darn, it's dead. Oh, I could do this. Yeah, I'm sure back in the day. I mean, it just needs a little cleaning. It's fine. I did. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, your duck scared me. <laughs> Oh no, that was the brake release. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> okay, let's look under the hood. <laughs> I did that about six years ago. I did that, you know, I walked up there, I was going to jump it, and I just opened it up, popped the hood, lifted it up, and this baby pasta went. I about peed my pants. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It was right. It was laying right over in here. Okay. Okay. Wow. Well, it here. actually looks better than I was expecting. Slide out your generator vent for the refrigerator, power connection, fuel, utilities, outdoor shower, rack, spare tire. It's got a trailer hitch so you can tow. Looks like it has an awning, hot water heater. No. I think this is the hot water heater. This is the furnace. And what is in the entertainment center? Oh, look at that. Outdoor stereo with some speakers, external antenna, and then mm. So what are we thinking? Thinking if we could get a deal. If we can get a deal. I can't get it open. The problem is we don't have the space right now to be able to restore something like this. But one day. One day. Where are we going? Blake, tell the people where we're going. We're going to the air zoo and air and possibly airway lanes and then Right before we do all that, we're going to look bug to look at some books and get some coffee. All right, we'll see you there. Bye. We're at the Air Zoo in Michigan. Yeah. Have you ever been here before? I have never been here before really? in my entire life. Really? Well, we just walked through some clouds. All right. Wow, this is quite impressive. So, a 14 ton pet, 20 millimeter automatic cannon from an F 14 Tomcat. We, we lost our kids. Yeah, we're we gotta go find, find everybody. And then we've got, I think that's a P 51 Mustang. Look at this cool plane. It's like a 
push propeller XP XP fifty five. Hmm. A buzz bomb V <laughs> one. German field cannon, that's pretty cool. The thing I'm looking forward to seeing the most is gonna be this SR-71 Blackbird. Pretty cool looking plane, it's over here. This thing is amazing. I'm pretty sure this is from like the 1960s or 70s, 1970s. Anyway, it's pretty impressive that this is like older than I am and it's still classified in terms of how high it can fly and how fast it flies. Pretty cool. Neat. This is really cool. There's some stairs so that you can actually come up here and see the cockpit. That's a big step. This was the navigator. Wow. That's their refueling port right there. They would fill up these tanks, which are their wing tanks right over here. And basically it would take all their fuel to take off because it would leak out until the tanks heated up. And then once the tanks heated up, they would basically come up here and air refuel and do that and fly their mission. Oh, cool. I think that's an F-18, F-14, Cobra helicopter. And let's be honest, a bunch of planes I don't know. Good morning. We did not do a good job yesterday. No, Nothing. we did not. <laughs> but we ended up, you know, finishing at the air. Air zoo? Zero, air zoo? Air zoo, yeah. I think, is where we left you. Yes. <clears throat> From there? Went over to see some family, hung out at their house, had some good dinner, enjoyed their company. Mm -hmm. Basically ended up coming back here and crashing. Yeah. So you didn't miss much, I promise, except for us enjoying family time. But today is about to be a whole lot more. A family time. It is Bob's side, the McCaskey. McCaskey. Side family reunion. Family reunion. <laughs> <laughs> you there. We did, we did. And Bradley, oh, well, I don't think you have you. Oh, what are you doing? This is Ethan. This is Ethan. Yeah, working on your band every day. Yeah, yeah. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> the Caskey family reunion. Bob, mm -hmm. you're gonna break it. Memories, bring back memories. Oh, oh, okay. Let's see if I can do it. 
<laughs> okay, too much. <laughs> You're gonna break this. That's worse. Yeah, that was good. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next Wednesday. And we have really, really good news.